In Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, you can connect to the internet and battle against trainers from all over the world inside the battle stadium. What is up guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred, and today we're going to be diving into what exactly is the battle stadium inside of Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Now, if you didn't know, yesterday during Pokemon Worlds, they have announced a ton of new features coming to Pokemon Sword and Shield and a couple of returning features like online battles for the game. The online battles are going to be taking place in a game mode called Battle Stadium, similar to how online battles work in Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So with the battle stadium, like I said, you can connect to the internet and then battle against trainers from all over the world using your Nintendo Switch system. You can use features like rental teams and online competitions will also allow for different ways to connect to other Pokemon trainers. It says no, a Nintendo Switch online membership, which is paid, is required to use the battle stadium and there's no need to set up a Pokemon Global Link account which you have to for Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. So they're getting rid of that Pokemon Global Link account, which drives everyone nuts. And if you forget your password, it's kind of tough to actually recover your account and you have to link it to the games and stuff like that. They're getting rid of that whole system, which should make online battles and ranked battles and stuff like that and participating in online competition, in theory, easier. So what is replacing? the Pokemon Global Link. We're going to go over that in a second, but let's continue down and learn a bit about ranked battles. It says in ranked battles, you can take on Pokemon trainers from across the globe with a battle team you trained up in attempt to become the most powerful trainer in the world. As the name implies, you will have a rank in rank battles that indicates how strong you are as a trainer your rank will change depending on the results of your battles you will face trainers of a similar rank so your battles are sure to be challenging now guys this is new this is new pokemon has a rank system inside of now inside of pokemon ultra sun and ultra moon if you do play on online matches you do get championship points and stuff like that but it's nothing it's nothing compared to what they're explaining now where you start off level one and you have to grind up you start off with a number inside of ultra sun and ultra moon and that number fluctuates depending on how many wins you get or how many losses you get and stuff like that very confusing they're getting rid of all that and introducing a simple rank system where everyone starts with zero and then you have to work your way up depending on what rank you are you get grouped in with those trainers of the same rank so you can be on the same playing level field which to me makes the most sense and again it, it's 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 gonna be fun this is gonna be fun for players who are looking for something to do after they completed the story after you completed your pokedex you could jump online and rank up your trainer ranking with the community and playing against real players who are at your skill level to me this is going to be incredible again it says you can earn points based on the results of your battles and it has a little image here it says you gain points it says your rank will increase once you earn enough points this person is at level five which is the pokeball tier and level one is the beginner tier looking at this screen we can tell that there's a, a double battle going on with two dynamax pokemon and this is dynamax pokemon play a dynamic role in ranked battles too it doesn't really expunguate on what that means about dynamax pokemon but it looks like they're going to be available to use inside of this ranked battle mode it says you can receive items by meeting certain criteria such as battling multiple times in a row and you can see by the image it says it says to congratulate you for your hard work please take this pearl string and i believe the pearl string is just something you can just sell for some pokey dollars inside of the main game so that's cool we're going to be earning items and stuff like that hopefully we earn some exclusive items during this system as well because that would be pretty cool like to earn like for example if it was in the game mega stones or whatever stuff that will benefit trainers in the online competitive scene i would that would be dope to integrate those items for rewards 
inside of this system, but we have to see when the games actually come out. It says each rank in rank battles belong to a specific tier. It says the top tier is where the trainers will take place in intense rank battles with everyone aiming to become the best in the world. You can check out your own ranking in the battle stadium when you are competing in the higher ranks. And check out the smartphone version of Pokemon Home if you want to see how all participants of a competition place or the rankings of the Pokemon use. In rank battles, your rank will go down a certain amount at the end of each season before it's being carried over to a new season. Now, a lot to go over. Pokemon Home is going to be integrated into these online battles, which tells us one thing. Pokemon Home is a smartphone app. That means we're going to be able to look at our rank, look at the top tier Pokemon and stuff like that. What's teams are going to be used the most all from our smartphones we don't have to turn on our nintendo switch even though pokemon home is accessible to the nintendo switch and i believe if you are using it on the nintendo switch you should be able to look up these ranks as well we don't know we have to wait until pokemon home comes out but that sounds incredible that that sounds way better than the system we have now where you have to go online and look through these threads and stuff like that to actually find out this information having it at the tip of our fingers inside of an app that we're going to be using to transfer our pokemon anyway sounds pretty dope it sounds like pokemon home is going to have a more impact than we actually thought it was going to be we thought it was going to be something like pokemon bank where we just toss our pokemon in it looks like it's going to be a more of a pokemon hub where we're going to be able to throw our pokemon in get information about pokemon sword and shield and stuff like that information about rank battles and stuff like that in online tournaments and stuff this is sounding like pokemon home is going to be a major factor rolling into the future of Pokemon, especially potentially with Pokemon Home being able to connect to future games. This is probably going to be the way forward that we're going to be able to participate in online battles, not through Pokemon Home, but with Pokemon Home connecting to your battles that you have in Pokemon Sword and Shield and stuff like that. So again, this all sounds exciting, all brand new stuff coming to this game. We got the tiers and the tiers are named perfectly with beginner tiers. Poke Ball tier, Great Ball tier, Ultra Ball tier, and Master Ball tier. I'm gonna see how long does it take to actually hit Master Ball tier. And yes, day one, we are gonna jump into some online motherfucking battles and try to hit Master Ball tier day one. That's gonna be my goal. I'm gonna try to get as far as I can through the story, maybe get a good team, you know, and then just jump online, see what, see who, who else is trying that grind, trying to hit that Master Ball tier. Because to me, this is exciting. It's like Call of of duty when call of duty comes out the first thing you do is jump online the story mode is cool but you jump online you get those quick online matches in and it just feels so good even though pokemon is a definitely different mind state different game than something like a call of duty especially when you consider that you're not going to have those pokemon that you want to with those moves and items right out the gate you got to grind through the story mode in order to get those and achieve those pokemon with the status and stuff like that that you want but when you do have them you also have the opportunity to jump online and just slay shit with the team that you want this is going to be so much fucking fun i can't wait for this going down in pokemon sword and shield don't worry if you're not into the ranked idea of playing with hardcore competitors and stuff like that and you're more of a casual player casual you know fan like i am i ain't gonna lie i'm a casual playing they're also gonna have casual battles and casual Casual battles, you can enjoy Pokemon battles without worrying about who wins or loses. Another noteworthy aspect of casual battles is that you can use certain legendary Pokemon and mythical Pokemon that are not eligible for ranked battles, which again, is pretty cool. That means potentially if we are able to bring certain legendary Pokemon or mythical Pokemon, you can use them here and showcase them inside of the casual battle scene, which is cool. It says there are two formats for the battles in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Players can take part in single battles and double battle formats. You can choose from these two battle formats for ranked battles and casual battles too. So again, if you wanna play singles, you wanna play doubles, ranked or not, they having all of that there. All of, all of that out the gate. The fact that they're saying that, yo, we're going to have this day one. Yes, let's go. This is going to be crazy, yo. Like, I'm so excited. I've never been this excited for 
the competitive Pokemon side for a Pokemon RPG when it's launching. Pokemon Sun and Moon, Ultra Sun and Moon, I was excited to participate in stuff online because it was like, it was kind of part of the, the Festival Plaza. You know what I'm saying? It was kind of integrated in a way that it didn't felt like a side game. It felt part of the story, you know what I'm saying? But now they're introducing it in a way where it feels so dynamic. It's part of the story. It's not, but it's also, you know, its own thing. It feels so fleshed out. And this is exactly what I wanted from the competitive scene inside of a Pokemon game. So this is pretty good to see. It says online competition. It says there are two categories of online competitions that you can participate in for some fun battling official competitions and friendly competitions and it says in official competitions you take part in special battles with a variety of different rules and restrictions in order to see where you place among the participants certain competitions may even grant you a chance to participate in the pokemon sword and pokemon shield world championship if you do well in them and to be the best with various regulations this sounds exactly like how it is technically in pokemon ultra sun and ultra moon where they host online competitions you rank well you do good you kick ass in these online competitions you earn championship points you earn enough championship points you get a ticket to Pokemon world. So it's looking like that format that status is still coming back it doesn't say championship points so what I'm thinking is that if you earned a high enough ranking, those people in the master ball ranking, like you could say, are going to probably be the ones that are going to be able to participate and then go to worlds and stuff like that. If you keep your status at that high ranking, which sounds cool. It sounds like a grind. It sounds like people who are playing Pokemon competitively is going to have something to do literally daily or monthly, depending on when they roll out these online competitions. It's this friendly competition and friendly competitions. You can enjoy competitions host by other players, but you're also able to host a certain competition yourself. The host will decide the regulations used for friendly competitions. So this is great. That means us, the community, is going to be able to set rules, set regulations, set what type of Pokemon we want to be allowed in, what levels and stuff like that, and then host our own competitions with our own community. So, say for example, someone like A Drive or whatever, he's throwing a Pokemon online competition with him inside of the Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon games, this is great. This actually gives him a way to do it himself inside of the game where he can host a competition, people could play, people could rank and stuff like that. Hopefully there's a way that, you know, the person that hosts the competition can see the data of each player who participated and stuff like that. This sounds incredible. I can't wait. This sounds cool as hell to have friendly competitions over online. And I, I can't wait. I can't wait. I, I, like, if you guys want me to host online battles and online competitions here on the page let me know i'm definitely going to be trying this out when the games come out i'm so excited for these features it says use rental teams to battle with all sorts of different pokemon Rental teams let you borrow battle teams easily by inputting IDs available online. You can use these rental battle teams in various different battles. You will also be able to make your own battle teams public to Pokemon trainers around the world. We do have this feature inside of Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. It sounds like it's going to be working the fit same. You make a team, you that team creates an ID. You can post that ID, and then anybody with a copy of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon puts that ID in. They get your Pokemon. The Pokemon don't leave your game. It's like a borrowed team. It's like a team that they can't actually put into their boxes and stuff like that but it's a team that they can use for online battles which is cool because that means day one if there is an online team or online id you can use bow you can use that team you can slay out on the online battle competition get your rank up really fast which is probably something i'm going to do that's probably a good idea it says you can rent up to five teams at once. I don't know why you would do so, but if you want to play around with five different teams at one time, you can. It says you can use rental teams in ranked battles too. Again, like I just said, it's going to be great for ranked battles, especially during the early time of Pokemon where you're probably not going to have the Pokedex completed, but you might want to use something that is 
part of the meta inside of online battle. So this is something I'm very hyped about that I can't wait for. Let me know how you guys think about the ranked online competitions and ranked online with the tiers and all of this inside of Pokemon Sword and Shield about the whole battle stadium, about everything you can do. This sounds a massive. I can't wait to dive in it when the games come out. If you guys have any questions more about the battle stadium that I didn't go over, let's chat about it in the comment section below. As you guys know, I answer all comments. So if you want to discuss anything about Pokemon Sword and Shield, let's talk about it in the comment section below. Also, guys, I'm on the road to 1K subscribers. If you guys like Pokemon content like this, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a video i do videos like this every day hit the like button if you enjoy the video peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next pokemon sword and pokemon shield video like always guys i'm daddy gamer fred on instagram and twitter and you guys can bring the conversation there i'm the american gamer in switzerland right here on youtube and yes i'm gonna be doing a ton of videos just like this one so if you enjoy please hit that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as growing the channel is concerned ring the bell if you want to be notified on the next time i drop a video peace i'm gonna see you guys on the next one